While on a recent business trip, I was washing my hands in an airport restroom when I noticed a man standing next to me taking his time washing his hands and a long white cane leaned up against the wall. He finished just before me and started trying to find his way out of the restroom. As he started to make a wrong turn, I gently touched him on the shoulder and said, let me help you. I guided him out to his waiting wheelchair and airport helper. At the time, I didn't think much of it and went on my merry way. A short time later, I started thinking about my brief encounter with that man and the many blessings we all have that we take for granted, like watching our children at school plays and sporting events, watching the sun turn from gold to red as it sets, watching the first golden rays of light hit the forest as the sun creeps over a jagged mountain, listening to birds chirping or our favorite music, walking, jogging, or running, well, anywhere, tying our shoes with both hands, our fingers, our toes, eyes, ears, and health, friends and family, and the list goes on. Feel free to fill in the blank with the blessings you have that you take for granted. I guess my point here is that no matter how bad you think your life is going, there are many who are far less fortunate than you are. Yes, I lost my son and spent more of my share of time feeling sorry for myself, wondering why God would allow such a thing to happen to my son. But he has also provided me with far more blessings than I deserve, and I know it. I choose to focus on those blessings. For more information, visit our website at kevinslastwalk.com. Something very good will come from this.